is it? Yeah. I am Deshaun. <sighs> Please subscribe and thumbs up, you guys. The weather for today is 40 degrees right now. It's sprinkling a little bit. It's, it's not that it's sprinkling, it's just dewy outside. The high today is 62. <sighs> you guys. I gotta go to school. What's hurry up? We're on the way to take Chunky to school. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving my favorite store. So, Marcus said the reason why I like coming to this Dollar Tree because it's full of boys. <laughs> no, I like coming to this Dollar Tree because it's still a Dollar Tree. It uh -huh. It's not a Dollar Tree Plus. You know, yes, it is full of boys, but I'm not coming here for them. I I done told them that this shaking that I do, it's not for them. It's not for them, but the dudes are pretty, pretty cool or whatever. They always ask me, do I need help or do I need them to get anything or do anything for me? So, I do like that, that, you know, I do get help a lot when I'm here. But the females, they help too. It ain't just the dudes. It, it's females here too that are very helpful. Like this eye tree, they, they're very helpful. they like, what, what you looking for? And, you know, you tell them and they'll, they'll either go get it or they'll take you to it. I prefer for them to take me to it because I'm picky like that. I don't want you to just go and grab one. Let me, I like to check expiration dates. I like to look and see what else you have that I might like. So, yeah, I want you to take me to it, but I don't want you to get it for me. Unless it's high up, because this store, the shelves are pretty high. <clears throat> I don't know why they didn't change the shelves to real high, but yeah. <laughs> the... Now you say what? You say I had to come here because of the dudes. Yeah, you sure do. What about the dudes? They like you, so you like getting that attention. So, he said I like to come here to get the attention from the dudes. <laughs> I mean, the dudes are friendly and they are nice, but the girls are nice too. To you, yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. But you don't be hearing the comments they make when they're not in your presence. I do, because I'm not always around you. Well, what kind of comments they be making? What they say? I can't say on video. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mad. So the news says it's snowing outside. So I'm like, okay, cool. I look outside. I don't see no snow. It was cold outside. But I ain't see no snow. So everybody calling me. They like it's snowing, it's snowing. I'm like, okay, well, they ain't made it to us yet. That's like, yeah, just, just wait. So I waited. I waited and waited. Whole hour went by. I felt the cold. I I didn't see nothing falling, though. You know what I'm saying? The people call me again. They're like, oh, don't, don't worry about it. They say it's not sticking. I said, okay, it's fine, it starts sticking, but I want to see it. They was like, yeah, they was like, it just looked like, um, they said it just looked like a uh, light rain falling. But on the news, it said it was snowing. I wanted to see some snow. I wanted to go outside. Me and my kids, do you want to build a snowman? Yes! I want to build a snowman, but we need the snow. Yeah, it was just real cold outside. I ain't seen no snow. The news said it was snowing. Where? Where? I didn't see it. I was looking for it. I ain't see it. I looked at the cars. The cars, they, 
you know, had a little light ice on them. But that's it. I wanted some snow so that we could, can we build a snowman? Cause we wanna build a snowman. Oh. OMG guys, I am so happy. You will not believe. Oh, the, <laughs> what just happened? So, excuse me, Chi Chi. Excuse me. Chi Chi, excuse me. So, so, you know how my neurologist was telling me that he wanted me to get a uh, Botox in my my left arm so it could stop the trembling and everything. So he. <laughs> he recommended me to to um to another doctor to go get the procedure done and I was like okay so I had called that other doctor and I couldn't get a hold of him like I was leaving him messages and everything he was not answering so you know some time went by some days went by so I called my neurologist back and I let him know I said, man, I've been calling this doctor, and he does not answer his phone, and he does not call me back when I uh, leave a message and everything. So, uh, he was like, so my neurologist was like, he was like, okay. He said, let me, uh, let me call another, another one and, uh, let them know about you and everything. And, uh, you know. So he 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 we hung up and he called the 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 next Botox doctor and everything and then he called me back and he said yeah uh he said I call I called him I let them know about you and everything and he said they uh he gave me the information he said you call them and make an appointment I was like okay cool so I hung up with my neurologist I called the Botox doctor the uh, second Botox doctor, and um, I left a message to let him know, you know, what was up. And then uh, he called me back, and he was like, we have to get a, a letter of recommendation from the neurologist. I was like, but you just talked to him. He was like, he was like, yeah, but we still need, need to get that letter to confirm it. I was like, okay. So... I hung up and then his secretary called me he was like uh the secretary was like we we're gonna call you and uh set up a uh appointment once we get the letter i was like okay so you know some hours done went by you know they didn't call me back and i know they closed i'm like okay maybe it's not meant for me to get the botox but let me tell you something. I got a message from the first Botox doctor. And he was like, he had a cancellation. And he was like, I want you to come in so I can get your treatment. Y'all, yeah. I am so happy because, yeah, I'm scared to get the Botox, but I need it because it's shaking. It is so hard to do stuff with the shaking, and it makes me feel bad because my girls, you know, they, they need their mommy to do, you know, mommy stuff, you know, brush teeth and do their hair and, you know, just help them with different things, and it's hard to do with the shaking. And, you know, I, I, I'm i scared to get the Botox I am because what if they get ready to give me the Botox and I just, I'm allergic to it or something or I don't know, anything could happen. I've never had Botox before. Y'all let me know if you ever had Botox and how did it work for you and what if they give me the Botox and my body just shut down and I mean, I don't know. But I'm happy that they called me because I was feeling down, y'all. I was feeling so bad. I was like, I was like, I really need the Botox. I really need it. And I can't get a hold of any of the doctors that can do it. I'm like, nobody is calling me and letting me know to come in. I'm like, maybe I'm not supposed to get it, but I got it. They, 
They let me know that they can do it, y'all. I'm so happy. I'm so scared. You know how you be so happy you won't cry? I want to cry, but I'm not going to cry because I cry. Then my kids going to be feeling bad. Remember when you crying? What's wrong? <sighs> y'all, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs>